hey guys and welcome back to another video in today's video we'll be looking into a simple implementation of our dark mode using react so over here you're looking into the code itself this is a vs code editor which i'm using and uh, over here on the uh, left hand side extreme left this is the folder structure which i usually maintain in my react projects and uh, the folder structure for this is pretty similar to all the structure in my previous videos previous react videos so it will consist of a, a basic public folder source folder a package json and some node modules so over here uh, the uh, react or has many libraries uh, where you can implement dark mode with a module uh, you, just, you just have to uh, import those libraries and use it in your app but over here I'll be uh, showing you something which uh, can be created by without any module and uh, yeah, pretty simple and straightforward so uh, let's get started so this is the code I'll just show you the output so you'll get a better idea about it so npm start and uh, this is the development server which is started so over here by default uh, the theme which I've kept is the dark mode and here is a button which you can toggle on and off which will turn on the light mode and the dark mode so as you can see this is what you will get at the end of this demonstration so the page is pretty simple it consists of a title a button uh, which has an on click event and a paragraph so switch to dark mode will turn into dark and switch to light will turn into light mode so this is the simplest way you can implement dark mode on a react page so yeah this will be your output and uh, let's navigate to the code so over here the source folder consists of uh, four files one is index.js so this is that and uh, uh, this is basically the main file where your react app will look for the root component so we have a theme provider component which is wrapping the toggle app component basically the toggle app component consists of the button and the h1 and uh, uh, the paragraph over here including the button on click event so over here we are using the functional component of react instead of the class component so if you are not familiar with the concepts of uh, uh, use state or use effect uh, in react so you can look into this documentation of react which is pretty straightforward it will demonstrate you how you can uh, get started with uh, states in functional component so this is uh, a good documentation I'll link this in the uh, description and uh, these are hooks which are available uh, after the react 116.8 version so do check this out it is uh, will give you a better idea about the app so over here I'm using uh, use state and use effect to toggle on and off the dark mode so this is our uh, main component and uh, i'm wrapping the toggle app component in the theme provider so this is basically wrapping so now let's navigate to theme so this is basically uh, so, uh, certain variables uh, which will tell you this is the color of the background and the body including the text so over here if you have noticed the text black turns to white when the background is uh, dark right so this should be also one uh, factor when you are trying to implement such kind of uh, a uh, feature like dark mode so you have to take care of that itself that you just don't turn the background black or uh, dark you, you will have to adapt the text as well so as you can see it turns uh, white so this is one important key to uh, take care of so this uh, file basically tells you that when the background is black 
the text should be a uh, white so it will provide you the variables for that and these variables are being exported as you can see uh, into our uh, toggle app and theme provider so this was the theme.js now let's move to theme provider.js so this uh, is a component which i have talked earlier so theme provider is like wrapping the entire um, child component which is the toggle app into it and it will um, uh, tell the toggle uh, functionality of our app to change the state of uh, the app from light to dark and dark to light so this is basically this it it is basically a state u state is like a, a state for class components so with functional component you can use this uh, um, hook which is use state so even in a functional component you can use state and um, change the state accordingly to your uh, requirement so it has a state called is dark initially it will be false uh, once it is toggled on it will turn into true so basically this use effect will tell the dom what should be done or what should be rendered after the um, button is toggled right and uh, this entire thing has been exported and uh, as you can see we are, are passing a prop children so this will uh, locate to your uh, toggle app component and uh, this is how we are uh, exporting or returning the entire component and uh, at the end the theme provider and use theme is been exported and used in our toggle app so uh, this is pretty straightforward if you are good and familiar with the hooks use state and use effect it will be pretty clean to you so i recommend you to uh, go and look into those hooks and get back to it so this is our toggle app component so basically this consists of our h1 tag a button and the paragraph so this is a wrapper css which is providing the prop theme background so what should be the background from this properties which we have already mentioned in the theme.js and it is taking that and over here we are also providing the props to the h1p and h2 so the h2 is not there but i'll show you if you want to add something uh, you can uh, uh, apply that uh, feature or uh, the color to that uh, tag also so this is the functional component use theme and basically it tells uh, on on click event to toggle the state to light and dark as we have uh, provided in theme provider and uh, this is a simple p tag and a wrapper so and at last we are exporting this so this exported component is being used in this over here similarly for the theme provider we are wrapping the entire thing uh, and the toggle inside so let me just show you if you want to add something like in h2 and uh, hello welcome to the page so let's see what happens so i've already provided an h2 for this property to adapt to the situation like in dark and light so let's see what is the output so as you can see hello welcome this is an h2 let's switch to dark so as you can see it is applied the property or the css which we have applied for the h1 and the p is applied to the h2 also so basically this uh, css carries the entire wrapping property of any tag used inside this so for example now i will use something called h3 and add in h3 below h2 so example I'll title so let's see what this is into so as you can see h3 is also also implemented now 
it works perfectly so this is how you can uh, simply build and uh, add those tags into this wrapper uh, uh, property for uh, letting your each and every component be adaptive to the background of your page so this yeah this was it. this was the basic on click event for toggling as uh, you might have learned the use to it and things so yeah i recommend you to go through it once before jumping into this so yeah i've almost covered everything and uh, the code for this will be available in the description for the github from the github and you can obviously uh, experiment to it and uh, try around your concepts with this so yeah uh, this was it for this uh, video guys if you have any questions uh, queries and concerns please do comment down below and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible so this was our uh, app and uh, yeah thanks for watching